As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, I got a chance to stop by a little house on West Grand Boulevard. It's the home of Barry Gordy's Motown Records. Now the Motown Museum preserved by uh, Esther Gordy Edwards. Motown broke racial barriers like no other record label. And today the museum is paving a way for the next generation of artists. You got a smile so bright. In 2021, Motown to me is all about inspiration. It's the music that not only inspires, but has transcended time, created right here inside of Studio A. The Motown Museum keeps the stories of what happened here alive, spearheaded by Robin Terry, the great niece of Motown Records founder, Barry Gordy. My uncle, he's, he's proud of the work I do. He's proud of, you know, me. Robin and her team at the museum have expanded on Motown's story. More than a museum, today it gives young talent a chance to be heard. So Amplify is an amazing platform for emerging artists. And it was only natural for us, um, you know, at Motown Museum, that that's our mission to create these platforms for emerging talent to not only be cultivated, but to shine. If you believe in things you don't understand, then you Now in its third year, the singing competition puts the spotlight on the next big voices out of Detroit. Brittany Hayden was the winner in 2020. Oh, I was over the moon. It's only up from here. It's only up. Uh, Motown is a major push. It's a major, it's so major in Detroit um, to have that that machine on, you know, connected to your name is just, uh, that's something big in itself. Also as big, the $2,500 cash prize, studio session to record new music and future performances. Our cornerstone, our talent cultivation and entrepreneurial cultivation. Mm -hmm. We want to create more entrepreneurs in the world of color, particularly. And we want to cultivate more talent in this community. Other programs furthering that effort include Motown Mike, a spoken word competition, a summer songwriting workshop called The Lyric Project, and two summer camps for kids called Spark and Ignite. We work with young children who are aspiring artists, but we help them to understand the value and the level of empowerment that comes from ownership. I feel very proud, very honored, and very privileged to have been accepted, invited and accepted as a, um, a singer, a, a vocalist at Motown Records. Cal Street of the Velvelette supports the work that Motown continues to do today. Over the years, we have seen it grow. We have seen it command the respect and notoriety that it has today. Now, 60 years later, Hitsville continues to grow and expand. The expansion, you know, I get excited about that because to me, it's everything that people love about what we do today on steroids. An even greater stage to tell Motown's black history story every single day. I believe in 365 days of black history. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make me cry. I pray that my grandmother would be extremely proud, um, not only of my work, but the team that we have here and the work that we do to keep the story of Motown alive, we have honored that. And we know that she is very proud, Robin. So thank you for all the work that you and your team do. If you're interested, applications and registration for the different programs is done online. And we posted a link with more information on our website. You can go to clickondetroit.com 